Uh, just get a tape recorder and, you know, come up and start doing their number. Really bad. Well, none of them have been, they've all been at least six seconds ago. Okay, we'll start with the two shots. Harrison, I wonder, working in Star Wars, where you're surrounded with so much hardware and special effects and things that you had to imagine, you didn't actually have yeah. the setting there. The first time you saw Star Wars, what were some of your thoughts and your reactions? Well, I was delighted, of course, and very proud of the people that, uh, that created it, grateful to be a part of it. But did some of it look different from what you had imagined it was going to look? Well, I had no idea of, of how skillful or spectacular the special effects were going to be. I was surprised by that. But I, I knew pretty much what the rest of it was going to be like. Yeah. Did any particular thing grab you as far as the special effects and where you just thought, wow, I didn't know it was well, going to be like that? Well, that opening shot is a, is a stroke of genius. I don't want to describe it for fear of ruining it for somebody else. But there is an opening special effects shot which most audiences applaud. It's almost the first shot of the picture. And that's very, uh, very nice to see. Yes. You know that you, have, that you have the audience from that point on. Have you always been a kind of Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon, sci-fi fan? No, I never have. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen one of those, uh, one of those uh, Buck Rogers or Flash Gordon well, series. Well, now, we have something in common, Harrison, because... you haven't either. No, I never read that stuff no, when I was a kid. Never did I. Never interested me, as a matter uh -uh. of fact. And I've never... Well, George did. George... <laughs> but this is George's movie, and George was able to write something which was accessible to, to my intelligence so that I could come up with something that I'd never seen before. Well, that's what is interesting to me is the fact that people like you and me and others that I've talked with who say, well, I don't like sci-fi, I don't like that sort of thing. But I like wow, this. Wow, I love Star Wars. Yeah. Why do we like this? Well, it's a fantasy. It's not science fiction so much as it is space fantasy. And it's about people. It's about Fine, it's finally about people and not finally about science. So the, so the energy in, of the movie goes towards exploring these human relationships, and I think that's what makes it so accessible to people. When you were making the film, I'm thinking of uh, specifically the robots, for instance. Was, was that, did they have problems with those because there were people inside them? There were sometimes people inside, and sometimes, excuse me, the, uh, sometimes they were all mechanical. There were about four or five different versions of R2-D2, the small robot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think only one of them was used with, uh, with a person inside of it. But uh, they have, of course, inevitable problems with something, with that much technology. And of course, uh, movies are, are made uh, under such uh, demands of time and money that uh, it's inevitable that difficulties arise with this stuff. And everything that was being done was being done for the first time. So there were a lot of problems, technically, to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. Did this make for a tenseness? No. No? No, I think it just created a, a, a well of energy to deal with it. Yeah. There was a lot of energy. Harrison, are you beginning to see the effects of Star Wars on your personal life and your career? Maybe things that haven't been happening up till now for you? Well, this, uh, everyone has respect for, for success, and this film is certainly a success. And uh, it, it, is, it has produced the inevitable change for me, yeah. In what way? Well, there are a lot more scripts for me to read and a lot more people interested in, uh, in using my services, mm -hmm. much to my delight. What about recognition? Do you, uh, when you go out in public, are you beginning now to be people say, running up to you and want to? Talk well, you know, about I it? saw the film with an audience for the first time about three days ago. Sat next to two people who had just were sitting through the film for the second time, and they engaged me in a conversation about the film, telling me how much they enjoyed it and what it was all about, and I asked them a few questions about specifics of why they enjoyed it so much. After the film was over, they, uh, they asked me why I had left during the middle of it if I didn't like the movie. And uh, 
They didn't recognize me at all. No. Really? No. I've never, I've never been recognized. In fact, in my early career, I considered that to be sort of a problem that, that characters that I played in different movies, it was not acknowledged to the, that it was the same person doing the, doing the job. I bet all that's going to change, though. Harrison, thank you so much for talking thank with you. us today. It's been, it's been pleasure. a pleasure meeting you. And this is Bobby Wygant at 20th Century Fox Studios in Hollywood. Thank you. Very pleasant. Nice interview. Thank you. My pleasure. I really could um, identify with you on, you know, the fact that that I went to it knowing this wasn't my kind of film.